Hello everybody and welcome to my SketchUp videos. Today I'll bestow upon you another tutorial. Today's tutorial will actually be a dormer. I had two people message me and ask me how I make a dormer. Not only how I make a dormer, but also with interior walls and whatnot. As you can see in here, the walls are finished inside. And also, as you can see, um, when I take the roof layer off, you can already see the wall, the thickness of the wall. And you also see that the roof does not come up through the walls. So we're gonna do so we're gonna make we're gonna recreate this with this. So I made our theoretical house in quote in quotes. So what we're gonna say is this is our first floor, and that's from the first floor layer. We're gonna work on in terms of dormers, we still work with layers all the time, so window layers. I already have my layers made because of this model here, so I'll just select the second floor, or if this was the third or fourth or whatever floor your dormer is on. So first off, we're going to start with a floor plan of the second, of this floor up here. Um, just give it like a distance. We'll give this... Um, uh, 14 feet, okay. Now if you're wondering where I'm getting these measurements, I'm actually using the same measurements as this house over here. So to make it easier for me. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to... Um, also, now that this is the whole outline of the second floor, I'm also going to have to make an outline of the dormer, so... I'll use this dimension here, and it's a 7 foot 4 from this side to this side. So from here, I have to determine how far out it goes. Alright, so then we'll make it like 7 feet out like that. Or I mean, depends on like how tall your window is. Like for here, I mean this is fine. If the windows have to be taller, it has to be closer out. And also, you variant on how steep your pitch is. We'll work on that. So, um... So, as you can see here, I made the outline for the floor. So, this is the floor, and this is the dormer. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, um, uh, as I'm on my second floor layer, I'm going to make determine the height of this, um, about nine feet. Now I know people are going to say, why don't I just extrude? Then therefore I'll have to do a layer transfer, and I don't want to do that in this video, or at least not have to do it in this video. So, as they say, you know, don't do, don't do what you don't have to. Work smarter, not harder kind of thing. I'm still trying to work smarter. I'm always working harder. Oh, well. So, um, I made my floor here. I'll go in and erase this. I will determine the thickness of the walls. So this is the outline, so then it'll go inward. And I'll make these 6-inch stud walls. And then I'll bring this down here all the way to the floor. So then, therefore, you got the walls of your dormer. You've already done most of some of the work. Now, what I usually do is, okay, so from the from the top here, um, usually my floors, my ceiling height, I, that's usually sometimes where I make my actual eave height, is where my ceiling height is. And as you can see, this is floor height, so, I'm going to make this go a whole, and I always make it a foot, one foot, so then I go to my roof layer, actually, yeah, my roof layer, go down a foot, oh no, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you know what, I'm, my second floor layer, layers, 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 
Where are my layers? I'm sorry. Alright, second floor layer. So I'll go down an entire foot. Because that is my ceiling height for the floor below. Now, assuming this is actually when you're making the house, I might do another tutorial where um, we're adding an adormer to an existing house. I might do that if you like to. So I'm going to do that. And then, you know, I'm just making my eaves. And then, um... It doesn't really matter. Making the eaves. Now, sometimes I um, I'm thinking about like background music and whatnot, but I don't know. All right, so then now I have the eaves down. Now you got to determine the slope of your roof. This can take a little trial and error, but for this sake, and I'm doing it according to this house. Let's say we've already have that all planned. We are going to make it a 45 degree slope because I planned it that way. So then, one foot, one foot, you know, a one by one slope. And then, as you can see, kind of made a triangle as our guide. Pink line, watch the line and watch my cursor always. And then we cut it off. But as you can see, in assuming that we have like roof, we'll do a layer transfer anyway, so don't worry about this. Just do what you gotta do. There we go, we have a we have this roof. Now this isn't an Eve tutorial, this is a specific sorry, a computer. I use a copy. Um, specifically, this is the dormer tutorial, so we will be focusing on that and not beautification. Okay, so now what we got is we got a dormer basically peekabooing out of here. Now, this is where our some of our trial and error come into play. We can either make the slope smaller, which probably is ideal, because look at all this space. Or we can um, move the dormer in and out, like... Let's say we want more window space, because that is not very much window space. We will move it out three feet. Still not that much, but whatever. Hypothetically, we're going to use that. And, or what we can do is just go out even further. We have optimal window space. I mean, because this is right there at the edge. But, you know what, we're not going to deal with that right now. So what we're going to do is we are going to cut the roof off. We're going to do this. Well, not cut it off, we'll do a layer transfer. And so we got this. Um, we will transfer this to the layer roof. Into the info, and then roof layer, and then we will also we will turn the roof layer off, so then we can see what we're doing. All right, so we're back, and then you take your rectangle tool. You'll go from one end to the other. You can either do this. Or what you can do is right click on the plane and go intersect faces with model. However, when you do this, you'll have to go back inside and erase these lines. Sorry about that. You see, you might run into some trouble here. So, um, we have to enter the info, make that go to roof. See, there's actually a lot to this, you know, I mean...
Because, I mean, a dormer is structural. You know, you're going to have to, there's a lot to consider. So there, now you have the dormer with the walls. Now it's just putting a dormer roof on. Or, you know, something before we'll do, actually, before we do that, we'll put a window in. Uh, we'll make the window one foot from the height of the ceiling. And hypothetically, we'll go out two feet here and two feet here. Uh, we'll make this a five foot window. And that's actually a pretty good sized window. And in my other tutorials, you already know how to put a window in a house, so I won't go into grave detail about that. I'll just knock it out like this, and you know what to do from there if you watch my other videos. Then you can erase this, erase this, because you know you don't need those. Now we will work on the roof layer. And just like any any roof we did, I just do that so I won't do any talking. I'm just going to do this really, really quickly. Because this is just like creating a roof, you know, because that's what it is. And again, we're going to make it a 45 slope, just like the rest of the house. Now remember, this is a gable roof. You can make shed roofs, too. But I'm not doing that in this video. I'm just bringing it out. Like so. But remember, you got to be careful. You're working with layers. I mean, you don't have to necessarily worry as much when it's a dormer. Um, that's sorry about that. When it's a false dormer, but when it's a dormer with a room inside of it, um, you will have to worry about it. Well, I mean, according to this model here, and we'll just give it e standard eaves like the rest of the house. And just watch patiently as I do that for a minute. And, I mean, none of this is anything you haven't seen before now. Sorry, my computer um, is not typing very well. Um, ah, I'm sorry. You get it the other and also when working like in program like this always make sure your profiles are on and just extrude out like this then erase what you don't want then hide this and then hide hide Voila! You got yourself a dormer. Put whatever roofing you want on it. See? It looks like a house from Santa's workshop or something. I don't know. But I mean, I think it turned out. And as you can see, you got your walls inside the dormer. And if you want to go further, what I usually do is I usually erase these walls that, and I blacken them. Like you saw in the other house there, I used bl I had black walls anyway. This keeps the files this keeps the files smaller, and um, it just looks cleaner. Darn it, computer! Cooperate, computer! Computer won't cooperate. Bad computer. All right. As you can see, because when I take the roof off, I can't have the roof layer on. Because whenever I black, right? But I mean, it's hollow. Oh, you see, and when you see stray lines here, just go right click them into the info and put them on the correct layer. It happens. So then, um, now I would all normally put do shift, but I mean, 
for this tutorial, you know. You get the idea. As you can see, it's just like the other house. Sorry, I can't see that very well. And then, there you are. Alright, everybody, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please rate, comment, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And there'll be more videos to come. Alright, everybody, thank you very much. Have a great day. Goodbye.